Hi there, everybody. Welcome to the Bull Ring at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Engines just fired as we are ready to rock and roll with General Tire 150. Let's go ahead and take a very quick look at our race analysis for this afternoon's race. Again, the Bull Ring at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. It's the second time we've been here in 2020. This event relocated from an event at Sonoma Raceway earlier in the season. Uh, the track length. 0.375 miles, 3 eighths of a mile. We will go 150 laps, 56.25 miles. No scheduled pit stops today. So uh, the only changing of tires that will be done. So the drivers have a problem and ARCA officials approve a tire change. Field now rolling from the grid. Why don't we go ahead and take a look at our Bounty Rookie Spotlight very quickly. Jesse Love leads the Bounty Rookie standings by 18 points over Gracie Trotter. He will be our Bounty Rookie Spotlight throughout the course of the afternoon today. We'll take a very quick look at those standings. Jesse Love leads with 294 points. Gracie Trotter second to 276. Geo Selzy, Holly Holland, and Jack Wood round out the top five. And Jesse's had a pretty amazing season so far. Leads the overall Arca Menard Series West standings. And he's going for his fourth win of 2020 here this afternoon. He finished second here back in February. So uh, looking to pick up that uh, position by one as we go for the second time here at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway Bull Ring here in 2020. Jesse Love, our Bounty Rookie Spotlight. He is also the General Tire Pole Award winner. As there we see uh, Blaine Perkins in the number nine four-star Ford. Four-star Ford. And Blaine's also picked up a trio of General Tire Pole Awards here in 2020. But Jesse Love picking up his third General Tire Pole Award earlier this afternoon in qualifying. Timed in at 14.941 seconds. Just 33 one thousandths of a second quicker than Joey East who will start outside row number one. As I said, it's the third General Tire Pole Award of 2020. For Jesse Love also picked up uh, General Tire Pole Awards at Irwindale and Colorado National earlier in the season. Trevor Huddleston in the number six, SunriseFord.com Ford. Yeah, he and his teammate Blaine Perkins will start back in row number two. Why don't we go ahead and take a quick look at our General Tire starting grid. Jesse Love and Joey East starting alongside one another in row number one. Trevor Huddleston and Blaine Perkins. We just saw those two Bob and Cotty Racing teammates. Uh, they will start alongside back in row number two. Kyle Keller making his Arkham and Art Series West debut. He will start alongside Gio Selzy back in row number three. Holly Holland and Takuma Koga will start back in row number four. There you see Gracie Trotter. She will start alongside Todd Souza back in row number five. And Bridget Burgess and Bobby Hillis will round out our 12 car starting lineup back in row number six. There you see Joey East making his second start of the season. He will start alongside Jesse Love up on the front row. Joey was here in the season opener back in February, finished 14th that afternoon. Been off chasing super late model races all across the West Coast, making his second start of the season. As we get the two to go signal here at start finish this time around. Two to go, and we will go flag racing again. 150 laps, 6.25 miles around the eighths of a mile Las Vegas Motor Speedway bullring this track bet here since 1985 actually was here for about 11 years before they built the 1.5 mile super speedway just across the street of course a full weekend of activity over across the street kicked off last night Austin Hill picking up the victory in the NASCAR Gander Truck Series event and the NASCAR Xfinity Series later on that one on NBCSN coming up at 7:30 Eastern time great way to kick off a very busy Saturday of NASCAR and ARCA action as we get the one to go signal at the stripe next time by we will go 150 laps number eight of the 2020 ARCA Menard Series season First two Arca Menard Series races here this afternoon. Suit Chief Power Packs 200 coming up from.
from Memphis International Raceway, 6 o'clock Eastern Time. You can watch it right here on Track Pass on NBC Sports Gold. You can also watch it live on MAV TV. That will be coming up 6 o'clock Eastern Time. We will settle the Sioux Chief Showdown Championship. Sam Mayer, who won here at the Bull Ring back in February, is going for the Sioux Chief Showdown Championship. He and Ty Gibbs are going to go at it head to head for that one. As we come off of turn number four, pace car still on the racetrack. Looks like we will get one extra lap here. There we see the one to go signal at the stripe. Lights off on the Toyota Camry pace car. Jesse Love, Joey East up on the front row. The two Sunrise Ford racing teammates back in row number two. Trevor Huddleston to the inside. Blaine Perkins to the outside. Kyle Keller, Gio Selzy back in row three. Holly Holland, Takuma Koga back in row four. Look at Gracie Trotter and Todd Souza back in row five. Pace car now off to the infield. Field now making its way through turns three and four. Jesse Love and Joey East on the front row. It is time to rock, roll, and rumble. Green flag in the air, and we are racing here at the bull ring. Jesse Love on the break. He's going to jump out to a one-car length lead through turns one and two. Joey East now battling side-by-side -side with Trevor Huddleston down the back stretch. Huddleston to the inside, East to the outside. Huddleston going to try to bring Blaine Perkins with him. Perkins to the inside of Joey East. First side-by-side -side battle for position. Perkins to the inside, East to the outside. He's going to want to try to get down to that bottom groove as quickly as he can. There's a gap there between Perkins and Gio Selby. East wisely sliding in behind Blake Perkins there, dropping from second to fourth on the start. As there you see Jesse Love jumping out to a 10-car length advantage already over Trevor Huddleston in second. See a battle for position right there. Kyle Keller to the inside of Takuma Koga. Just outside the top five. Koga way up the racetrack. Getting that car sideways. Nice job by Takuma Koga to keep that machine under control. But he's going to give up a couple of positions. You see Gracie Trotter sliding underneath. Bring Todd Souza along with her. Gracie farther back than we've normally seen here, seen her here in 2020, all the way back to the ninth starting position, following your teammate Holly Holland there. You see Todd Souza looking to the inside of Takuma Koga as they race off into turns one and two. Give Souza that position as Takuma Koga now drifting back outside of the top five, well outside the top five. There you see Takuma almost getting that car sideways off of turn two, great job by that driver coming to us all the way from Nagoya, Japan to race with us each and every week, week here in the Art of Art Series West. There's a battle up at the front of the field. Looks like Trevor Huddleston starting to reel in Jesse Love just a little bit. Love in that number 19 car showing just a little bit of smoke as he worked his way off into turns one and two that time. I don't know if that was brake smoke or maybe a little smoke out of the exhaust pipes there, but Huddleston now was a 10 car length lead, now a two car length lead off into turns one and two. There you see the battle for third. Joey East now to the inside of Blaine Perkins. East, after a rough start to this race, kind of rebounding and re, uh, getting himself reacclimated to the bull ring here. He's now working his way underneath Blaine Perkins and picking up that third position. A little smoke out of the Joey East automobile as well. Seems like that's kind of the standard operating procedure for some of these Parkman Art Series West engines. There you see Gio Selzy working his way underneath Blaine Perkins as well. Gio Selzy up into the fourth position for Bill McAnally Racing drivers. Here you see the gap between the top two and that battle for third that Joey East has prevailed in. He's now about 10 car lengths back in third. He's starting to gap Gio Selzy just a little bit. After a rough start, Joey East kind of getting the sea legs under him and starting to crack down our top two. There you see the battle for the lead. Trevor Huddleston has caught Jesse Love up at the front of the field, reeled him in. It was a 10 car length gap. Now Trevor Huddleston just a half car length back as they work their way through turns. Three and four, not on the main straightaway here. Very tight racetrack. There's a reason why they call this one the bull ring. It is a bull ring. Very tight. Just three eighths of a mile. There you see the back stretch a little bit bowed. 
stretch pretty straight here. They drive it like it's a turn, but it is at least straight in shape. So they're about to catch the tail end of the field. Bobby Hillis in that number 27. Midway Toyota Chevrolet. Down to the bottom side of the racetrack and get the leaders all the racing room they need down into turns one and two. And you see in that smoke out of the number 19 car, Jesse Love. We've seen that a few times out of several of these automobiles. Nothing to be too overly concerned about. Trevor Huddleston, three time late model champion down at Irwindale Speedway, picked up his best finish of the season at his home track. Finished second. Bale also put a second at Evergreen earlier in the season, looking for his first win of 2020, and he is pressuring Jesse Love here in the early going. The General Tire 150. Trevor Huddleston. He was competing regularly down at Irwindale Speedway. Came three points from winning the NASCAR. All-American Series Championship back in 2017. Lee pulling him just knocking him off the top of the rung. Off the top rung, I should say, by just three points back in 2017. Huddleston trying to stay in the fight here for the Art of an Art Series West National Championship. Currently sitting fourth in the standings, but he's going to make up 41 points if he's going to track down Jesse Love. Currently leads the standings as they've caught Sarah Excuse me, that's Bridget Burgess. Sarah Burgess, the owner and the crew chief on that family owned and operated racing team. Bridget Burgess play up the racetrack. And plenty of racing team. Trevor Huddleston, like I was saying, is going to have to pick up about 41 points. 41 points to tie Jesse Love for the points lead. Picking up a win here with start to erode that points lead just a little bit as we start to wind in, wind down the 2020 Art of Art Series West season. A couple of races yet to run on the weekend of October 23rd and 25th. Go to All-American Speedway on October 23rd. County Raceway on October 25th. Both of those races live right here on track pass. Trevor Huddleston again trying to work to the inside a little bit as they've already caught Takuma Koga. Apparently that automobile not handling at all the way that Takuma would like it. He has dropped back to the 10th position. Leaders now down to the inside. Huddleston trying to keep that car way down to the bottom of the racetrack. Stay out Jesse Love's mirror. Not going to make anything happen that time around. Huddleston following now in the tire tracks down the back stretch. Love. Just looking at some of the stats going into this race, he was six laps behind Blaine Perkins with Valvoline Lap Leader Award and already led more than six laps here so far this afternoon. So Jesse Love taking the lead. Blaine had led 279 laps coming into this afternoon's competition. Jesse Love leading 273. Both of those drivers with three, three wins on the season. Very impressive. Seasons for both of those drivers. Again, Trevor Huddleston looking for win number one. Back on the victory board. He picked up a couple of wins last year, as we already said, Irwindale and Evergreen. Number one here in 2020. And he has tracked down Jesse Love and following him in those tire tracks, lap after lap. Here in the early going of the General Tire 150. The second race for the Arkham Art Series West here at the Bull Ring at Las Vegas Motor Speedway here in 2020. This race originally scheduled for Sonoma Raceway. And, uh, unfortunately, that weekend of racing was canceled due to the pandemic. And the Arkham Art Series West event moved from Sonoma to here at the Bull Ring. You see the top five, Jesse Love, Trevor Huddleston. Two laps now working the 32nd lap. Two laps will be in the books this time. Right? Good battle at the back half of the top five. Geo Selzy holding Blaine Perkins at bay. Geo coming off 
Some sprint sprinter action we'll talk about here in just a little bit as we go back up to the front of the field, battle for the lead. There you see Trevor Huddleston looking to the inside. He's going to dip underneath Jesse Love down into turns one and two. Love now trying to come back. Slip and slide, dip and dive. Love now to the bottom side of the racetrack. Trying to retake the lead through turns three and four. A little bit of contact there as they come off a of four, but give the lead to Trevor Huddleston. Joey East now making it a three-way battle at the front of the field. Nose to tail down the backstretch. First, second, and third. Again, Love looking to the inside of Trevor Huddleston. Again, maybe just the slightest bit of contact off of turn number four. Huddleston taking the lead. First lead change of the afternoon. Coming at lap 35. Now Joey East all over the back bumper of Jesse Love as we've got a three-way battle for the lead. Where did that come from? Looked like Huddleston and Jesse Love were a good 10 car lengths out in front of Joey East and all of a sudden East all over the back bumper as Huddleston and Love battled for the lead. Love apparently Still has a pretty good shot at getting back up there and retaking the lead. He is all over Trevor Huddleston here. We just talked about Love racking up those laps up at the front of the field in the battle for that Babylon Lap Leader Award, and Trevor Huddleston not wanting to be left out of that conversation at all. Now that things have settled down in the battle for the lead, Joey East is starting to drop back just a touch. We saw him push up the racetrack just a little bit. Again, looks like he's having a hard time keeping that car down on the bottom side of the racetrack, particularly on exit of the corner. There you see him drifting way up the racetrack again as he comes off the turn number four. That's going to allow Geo Selzy down to the inside. Selzy going to bring Blaine Perkins along with him. Selzy up to third. Perkins going to slide into that fourth position. Joey East fighting an ill-handling race car. Here comes Gracie Trotter. She's going to slide up into the top five. Joey East can't keep that car down to the bottom side of the racetrack, picking up a push as we're working lap 42. Nearly one third of the way home already here in the General Tire 150. There you see Blaine Perkins now to the inside of Geo Selzy. Give Blaine Perkins that third position. Selzy back to fourth. He's got his hands full with Gracie Trotter. Trotter now down to the inside. Give Gracie Trotter the fourth position. So a lot of position changing up in the top five here as we approach the one-third mark in the General Tire 150. We talked about Gracie Trotter starting back in the ninth position. Haven't seen her outside the top five too much here in the 2020 Arthur Menard Series West season. Gracie picking up a big late model victory at Hickory Motor Speedway a couple of weekends ago. First career late model win for Gracie down at the legendary short track where the Star Stars made. Fifth on the screen right there as they work around Bobby Hillis in that number 27 automobile. Gracie having an excellent rookie season here. We already talked about sitting second in the Bounty Rookie Challenge standing just 18 points behind Jesse Love. Picked up a career best second place finish a couple of weekends ago. There you see Trevor Huddleston now open up. Almost a full straightaway advantage over Jesse Love. Oh, trouble, Blaine, excuse me, Trevor Huddleston up in the outside wall. Our leader bouncing off the outside wall. That's gonna bring out the caution flag for the first time here this afternoon. Oh, tough, tough break for Trevor Huddleston. We just got done talking about how Trevor was looking for his first win of 2020. He had gone up and taken the lead and problems at the one third mark, sending our leader into the turn three wall and putting us under the caution flag for the first time here at the bull ring at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Forgive me for saying Blaine Perkins, those two drivers driving virtually identical race cars. But wow, let's take a look at the replay. There you see he's already gotten up into the outside wall Significant damage to the right front corner of that number six, SunriseFord.com Ford. 
That's going to give the lead back to Jesse Love. Oh, wow, tough break for Trevor Huddleston. area outside the racetrack in turns one and two he was able to get that car off the racetrack and back to the attention of Bill Sedgwick and the rest of the Bob Brancati racing team a lot of you may remember Bill Sedgwick as a former West Series champion also competed in the NASCAR Gander Truck Series in the early years of that series back in the late 1990s and see if they can get Trevor Huddleston back out onto the racetrack. But wow, very unfortunate. Finally worked his way past. Jesse Love to take over the lead. Got to sniff some clean air for about a dozen laps and unfortunately some problems. Maybe picked up some debris on the racetrack and had a right front tire go down. Some fairly significant contact with that wall. Go ahead and reset your top five. Now, Jesse Love back up to the lead. There you see Blaine Perkins in second. Actually, let's go ahead and take a quick look back at the work in the pit area. There you see the damage to the right front corner. Got a lot of chaos back there as Bill Sedgwick and crew trying to get repairs affected on Trevor Huddleston's automobile. But tough, tough break. As Huddleston was going for win number one here in 2020. Let's go ahead. There you see. <laughs> Trying to get the right front general tire back on that automobile. As we get the one to go signal, and we will reset the field up at the front. Jesse Love, Blake Perkins will go from the front row. Grace Trotter and Gio Selzy will take the restart back in row number two. Joey East and Kyle Keller back in row three. Holly Holland and Todd Souza back in row number four. Those are the cars remaining on the lead lap. Car has made it to the infield. Jesse Love bringing the field back into the restart zone as we come to complete lap 53. Green flag back in the air. Jesse Love on the hammer down into turns one and two. A little paint swapping between he and Blaine Perkins as they work their way off into turns one and two. They're going to drift up the racetrack. Here comes Gracie Trotter, three wide for the lead. Move Gracie Trotter to the top spot. She's going to bring Gio Selzy along with her. Gracie Trotter for the first time in her Arkham and Art Series West career to the lead. Gio Selzy holding on to that second position. Jesse Love back to third. Joey East trying to make some noise as he tries to look inside. Jesse Love in the battle for that third position. We see Blaine Perkins all the way up the racetrack. He's going to make contact with the outside wall in turn two. Both of the Bob Brunconi racing teammates into the wall within a dozen laps of one another. Some caution flag out for the second time here this afternoon. Oh, what an odd, odd uh, set of uh, course of events here. And I, I'm speechless. I don't even know what to say here, folks. I wouldn't have expected either of these drivers to be uh, faced with this situation here this afternoon, but both of the Sunrise Ford racing teammates into the wall within a dozen laps of one another. There you see that battle for position, and all of a sudden, Blaine Perkins' car just darts to the right off of turn number two, and he goes almost headlong into the wall. Wow, right at the point where you're about to pick up the throttle. He's got to lock it down, but still make some contact with the right front corner. Tough, tough break. Both Bob Brancati racing teammates into the fence virtually identically. And that puts us under the caution flag for the second time here this afternoon. Seriously, folks, almost speechless watching those two cars have problems here uh, within laps of one another. As we see Gracie Trotter circulating behind the pace car, she is your leader. How about that restart for Gracie Trotter? We just talked about her picking up her first career victory down at Hickory Motor Speedway. Part of the Rev Racing Driver Development Program, the NASCAR Driver Diversity Program. Bringing a lot of momentum with her here 
to the bull ring at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Gracie showing some aggression on that restart, diving underneath her teammate. Jesse Love down the backstretch to take over the lead. First time in her career. She has paced the field here in the Arkham Art Series West. Gio Selzy along with her. There you see Jesse Love. Went from the lead to third in the length of the backstretch. On that restart, Jesse Love going to have to regroup on this restart. past the one-third mark here at the Bull Ring Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Field now doubling up for the restart. One to go single even here at start finish. Gracie Trotter will start to the inside. Geo Selzy to the outside. Jesse Love and Joey East back in row two. Kyle Keller, Holly Holland back in row three. Todd Souza and Takuma Koga, your lead lap cars as we come to the restart. Toyota Camry pace car back down to the infield. And for the first time in her career, Gracie Trotter leading the field into the restart zone. Slow restart. Kyle Gracie Trotter drops the hammer. Green flag back in the air. She's going to get the advantage down into turns one and two. Great restart for Gracie Trotter. That opens the door for Jesse Love. He's going to slide inside of Gio Selzy. Selzy back to third. He slams the door shut on Joey East. East holding on to the fourth position on this restart. Kyle Keller back in fifth. Here comes East to the inside of Gio Selzy down the back stretch off into turns three and four. Give Joey East the third position. Selzy holding on to fourth. 16 Napa Auto Parts Toyota. We see Kyle Keller in that number seven making his Arkham and Art Series West debut this weekend, driving for longtime team owner Jerry Pitts. That is the car that Noah Gregson drove a couple of years back. Put himself on the radar. Kyle Keller also looking to follow in Noah Gregson's footsteps. Keller trying to make something happen out of the bottom side on the turn four. Not going to make it happen. Falls in line back behind Gio Selby. There you see Holly Holland. Holly having a great run this afternoon in that number 50 JBL Audio Toyota for Bill McAnally Racing. She's looking for her first career top five finish. Holly Holland just outside the top five in that sixth position. There you see Gracie Trotter with about a five car length advantage over Jesse Love in second. As they work their way out the turn four down the front straight away. See Blaine Perkins back on the racetrack in the number nine. Several laps off the pace. Looks like we've got another caution flag here at start to finish. Caution flag out for the third time here this afternoon. Boy, I'm still trying to gather my bearings after seeing two Sunrise Ford teammates with very similar problems within about a dozen laps of one another. I just apologize, folks. It was a little speechless there trying to put together some words. You, you don't expect to see uh, the Bob Bercotti racing team have those sorts of problems uh, within a handful of laps of one another. As a, you see the safety truck. Looks like we did have a little bit of debris on the racetrack here at start finish. Actually, we did see the cars up at the front of the field come across that debris and maybe drag it down off into turn one a couple of laps ago. There you see the damage that was done to that number nine on the field, Lane Perkins. Doesn't look like that right front tire situated exactly the way it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a little more straight up than it is. Be just the situation that they're left with on that four star four fruit Ford a three-time winner here in 2020 picked up his first career victory in the second event of the doubleheader at Utah Motorsports Campus back in the month of June and then picked up 
back-to-back -back victories sweeping the weekend at Evergreen Speedway and Douglas County Speedway. Finished second last time out at Colorado National. Pretty good season so far for Blake Perkins. Coming into today, second in the Arkham Art Series West, standing with just seven points behind Jesse Love. Not the day that he was looking for as he hopes to stay in contention for that Arnie Bernard Series West Championship. 70 laps in the books this time by. Closing in on the halfway point here. Gracie Trotter still circulating behind the pace car. First time in her Arnie Bernard Series West career she has been at the front of the field. Jesse Love circulating in the second position. And somehow, Joey East has stayed up in that top five. East currently sit, sitting back in third. If you remember, back around the lap 30 to 40 mark, that car was as evil handling as any I have seen in a long time. He could not keep that car down to the bottom side of the racetrack. Seemed to push up a groove and a half to two grooves every time he tried to work his way off of turns three and four, but apparently whatever the situation was there has rectified itself. Joey doing a great job in general tire pole qualifying earlier this afternoon. Career best starting position, second here this afternoon. We've seen Las Vegas Motor Speedway cleanup crew taking it back down into the infield. The track has been given the thumbs up and we will get the one to go signal this time around. starting to double up for the restart. One to go signal given here at start finish. Lights off on the pace car. Caution lights off around the racetrack. Next time by, we will get the green flag as we come to lap 73. So we'll have 77 laps yet to go. Here in the general tire, 150 at the bull ring, Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Appreciate you joining us. Live on track pass with NBC Sports Gold. Pace car back down to the infield. Gracie Trotter again leading them into the restart zone. What will we see out of Gracie this time by? Another slow restart. Green flag back in the air. Let's see what happens as they race their way off into turns one and two. Gracie down to the inside. She's going to hold on to the lead. Jesse Love slotting back into that second position. Love now going to dive down to the inside, off into turns three and four. Not going to make it happen. Joey East holding on to that third position. Gio Selzy slotting into fourth. Top four, nose to tail, down the back stretch as we come to complete the halfway point. This time by, 75 laps in, 75 to go. Here at the bull ring at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Go ahead and take a quick look at the Richmond Water Heaters. Midway recap, Gracie Trotter leading the way. Third leader of the afternoon, Jesse Love. And Trevor Huddleston also shown the way here this afternoon. Three caution flags so far this afternoon. A couple of incidents on the racetrack. Holds of the Bob Brunconi Racing, Sunrise four teammates. Trevor Huddleston, Blaine Perkins have gotten up into the wall. That's slowed the pace here just a touch. But right now we're clean and green. Gracie Trotter showing the way with 73 laps to go. Here in the general tire 150. There you see the gap up at the front of the field. She's got a couple of car lengths in hand. Over Jesse Love in second. Joey East putting some pressure on Jesse. Battle for that second position. Open up a touch of a gap. About a five car length gap over Geo Selzy back in fourth. There you see Kyle Keller. Giving the Jerry Pitts ride a good run here this afternoon. Talked about Geo Selzy going to play in sprint car driver in the Midwest. Throughout the course of the week, finished seventh in A main on Wednesday night. Fell for us with Governor Swain. Geo playing in the dirt as
as well as competing full time here in the Arnold Bernard Series West Championship in 2020. There's that battle for the second position. Joey East, that car really coming to life here after that last restart. Joey all over Jesse Love as they work their way down the back stretch into turns three and four. race uh, here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway starting the season opener back in February came home a uh, rather disappointing 14th place finish that evening a lot of this very truncated 2020 racing season running some super late model stuff now in Southern California good to see him back here with us in the Arkham Art Series West and doing a great job here battling with championship leader Jesse Love for that second position with 70 laps to go. There's a good battle for the fourth position, fourth, fifth, and sixth on the screen. Gio Selzy, Kyle Keller, Holly Holland all going at it. Jump up to the back, back to the front of the field. Boy, getting tongue-tied again. All this action all around the racetrack here at the bull ring. Still holding on to that second position. Joey East following in those tire tracks each and every lap. Ooh, almost getting into the back of Jesse there through turns one and two. Another lap here. You see Kyle Keller looking to the inside of Gio Selzy. The battle for third just behind this. The battle for fourth, excuse me. Just behind this battle, Kyle Keller looking to the inside. There you see, they have moved Gio Selzy up out of the groove, and Holly Holland going to follow through as well. Filter back, there's Kyle Keller back in the number seven. Holly Holland, first time this season we've seen her crack up into the top five. Gio Selzy back to sixth. In that number 16, there you see Todd Souza. Todd having a great run here this afternoon. Todd Souza in that number 13 Central Coast Cabinets Toyota, running seventh. Todd had a rough time last time out at Colorado National. First time he finished out of the top 10 all season long. Nice rebound here so far this afternoon at the bull ring at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. There's that battle for second again. Joey East all over the back bumper of Jesse Love as they work their way off into turns one and two. Gotta wonder how long East is gonna stay patient. Will he give him the bumper at some point here? He is all over the back deck of that car as they work their way through the center of the corners. Jesse doing a great job keeping that car right on the bottom of the racetrack. Not giving any ground at all to Joey East as they battle for that second position. Meanwhile, up at the front of the field, Gracie Trotter driving away. Gracie's got a 1.4 second lead over Jesse Love now. Almost a half straightaway advantage as they work their way down the backstretch. Bridget Burgess in the number 88 Toyota between her and the lead. Between Jesse Love and the lead, I should say. There you see Bobby Hillis. Going another lap down to our leader. And finally, Joey East sneaking underneath Jesse Love to take over that second position. We knew it was just a matter of time. Joey very, very quick in that number 54 car. Working through some lap traffic. That opened the door and allowed Jess, uh, Joey East to take over that second position from Jesse Love. Take a look at the replay here. There you see they worked their way past Bridget Burgess, Jesse made the move back up the racetrack to try to give himself the line into turn one, and that opened the door for Joey East to take over that second position. Joey East apparently much quicker, and he is driven off to a 10-car length advantage as he tries to trace down Gracie Trotter. Got a 1.5 second lead over Joey East in that second position. There you see the battle for fourth and fifth on the racetrack. Kyle Keller holding on to fourth. Holly Holland in fifth. Holly having a great run in that number 50 JBL Audio Toyota here this afternoon. Looking for her first career top five finish here in the Arkham and Art Series West. 51 laps remaining this time around. 
very fast paced event here at the bull ring at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Two thirds of this race already in the books. Just 50 laps to go this time around. Kyle Keller starting to close in on Jesse Love now in a battle for third. Second, third, fourth, and fifth running nose to tail. Here you see Kyle Keller looking to the inside. Jesse Love to the outside. Battle for third on the racetrack. Kyle Keller getting the power down off of turn number two. He's going to slide into that third position. Jesse Love slamming the door shut on his teammate, Holly Holland. He's going to try to go back to the inside of Kyle Keller down the front stretch. Love to the inside. He's going to push Kyle Keller to the outside. Can Holly Holland follow through? Oh, Kyle Keller throwing the block down the back stretch. He's going to hold on to that fourth spot. Keller trying to come back at Jesse Love down into turn one. Drove that car hard down into turn one. Had to jump on the brakes. That's going to allow Love to get out to a two-car length advantage now and they, as they battle for third position. Oh, a little slip and slide, dip and dive, short track action. As we close in on the finish of the General Tire 150. Kyle Keller, ooh, Jesse Love sliding that car sideways off of turn four. Keller down to the inside. A little contact down into turns one and two. As we see the caution flag coming out for the fourth time this afternoon. That's going to erase a 1.5 second lead for Gracie Trotter. Gracie had driven away from that battle for second, third, fourth, and fifth. It's going to be well, maybe exactly what Jesse Love was looking for right there. Give him a chance to slow down, cool the tires off, regroup. As there we see some debris over in turns one and two. Again, likely coming off of that number nine car, Blaine Perkins. That car involved in an incident back uh, just before the halfway point. Circulating a little off the pace here. Just trying to stay in that battle for the championship. Apparently some debris on the racetrack there over in turns one and two. There you see on the makeshift pit road back behind the outside retaining wall over there. Don't expect any of our contenders for the win here today to make any pit stops at all. Only tire changes you can make as if you've got a flat tire so don't expect anybody at all to make that right hand turn off of turn one and come on down pit road unless they've had an incident on the racetrack there you see Gracie Trotter in that number 99 Enios Toyota we talked about picking up that first career victory at Hickory Motor Speedway in the Rev Racing Driver Development Program for the NASCAR Drive for Diversity wouldn't it be something if she was able to follow it up with her first career Arkham and Iron Series West victory? She's going to have about 42 laps to go here this time around. Maybe about 40 laps to go once we go back green flag racing. And she has done a phenomenal job on these restarts. And again, there you see the damage to the Blaine Perkins automobile. Blaine getting up into that outside wall, knocking the right front suspension. Uh, as my friend Mike Bagley likes to say on MRN radio, a little cantywampus right there on the right front corner of the Four Star Fruit Ford. And I will tell you, folks, that is a tongue twister. I challenge you all to say that three times fast. Four Star Fruit Ford. Go ahead. Uh, I'm, I'm barely getting through it myself here, but uh, there you see the damage. Unfortunately, Blaine Perkins, second in Arkham and Art Series West standings coming into today. Based on the day that he has had and based on the day that Gracie Trotter is having, we may see a change in that second position for the end of this afternoon. One to go signal here at the stripe. We will come to the green with 40 laps to go. Can Gracie Trotter get another solid restart here? We're about to find out. Joey East to her outside for the restart. Jesse Love, Kyle Keller back in row two. Holly Holland, Gio Selzy back in row three. Todd Souza, the final car on the lead lap, restarting back in seventh. Coming into the restart zone, green flag back in the air. Gracie Trotter on the hammer down into turn one. 
Joey East did not get a good restart. That's going to scatter the field behind. Jesse Love up into second. Holly Holland up to third. Joey East with some problems on that car. He has dropped all the way to the tail of the field. Oh, tough break for Joey East, who had a career run going here this afternoon. Everybody scattering on that restart. Jesse Love back to second. Holly Holland to third. Look at Todd Souza up to fourth. Great restart for Todd Souza in that number 13 Toyota. Things start to settle down just a touch. There you see the battle for fourth, fifth, and sixth. Todd Souza, first time we've seen him up in the top five here in 2020. Kyle Keller trying to regroup, get back up into that fourth position. He's back in fifth. Look at Holly Holland. She's all over. Jesse Love in a battle for second. We've talked about Holly Holland several times here in 2020. There you see that battle for fourth, fifth, and sixth. Move Kyle Keller back up into fourth. Gio Selzy up into fifth. Todd Souza back into sixth. Boy, don't know what happened to Joey East on that restart, but it scattered the field dramatically. Everybody doing a great job to miss Joey. But Holly Holland, the benefactor of those problems, she's going to come out. Third on that restart. And she is putting some serious pressure on Jesse Love in a battle for that second position. There you see Gio Salzi. He's going to retake that fourth position. Now we have Bill McAnally racing drivers. First, second, third, fourth. 34, make it 33 laps to go this time around. I was going to say we've talked about Holly Holland several times here in 2020, making the transition from open wheel racing on dirt tracks to tight little bull rings of her native Oklahoma to full size stock car racing. She has done a great job so far. Five top 10 finishes so far in 2020, going for her first career top five run. She is in great position to make it happen with 30 laps to go. Here in the General Tire 150, sitting in that third position, putting some serious pressure on Jesse Love in a battle for that second spot. Right now, things have calmed down just a touch. Jesse's got about a one car length advantage over Holly as they work their way off of turn two down the back stretch. Gracie Trotter again driving off into the distance. 1.6 seconds per advantage over Jesse Love. Getting some conversation over the radio from Gracie Trotter. Telling her, telling her team, Roger Bracken and the crew, her car feels great, no complaints at all, and it shows she is driving off into the distance. 1.5 seconds, her lead over Jesse Love. There you see Jesse on the hammer out of turn four, trying to close that gap. He has pulled away five car lengths now over Holly Holland in second. Can Jesse Love start to reel in Gracie Trotter up at the front of the field? There you see Gracie putting another lap on Blaine Perkins. Also adding a couple of tenths of a second to her advantage. It was 1.5, now make it 1.7 seconds over Jesse Love in second. Here you see the advantage, almost the full length of the backstretch here at the Bullring at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. 25 laps to go for Gracie Trotter in that number 99 car. Gracie has had an impressive season so far. Started off the season right here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway, the Bullring with a fourth place run. She followed it with a pair of seventh place results in the doubleheader at Utah Motorsports Campus on the road course, her first ever road course races. And from there on out, it's been nothing but top fives. Third at Irwindale, fifth at Evergreen. A career best second at Douglas County, and she followed it with a fourth place finish last time out at Colorado National. Looking for career win number one, and she is driving off now 2.2 seconds the advantage over Jesse Love in second. Now 
you see the battle for the third position behind Jesse Love. Here you see Gio Selzy in the number 16 starting to reel in. Ooh, a little contact right there. Jesse Love's going to get in to Bridget Burgess. That's going to put us under the caution flag for the fifth time here this afternoon. Bridget Burgess just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Coming off a of turn four, right in front of that battle for second, third, and fourth. Couldn't quite get out of the way in time. A little contact between her and Jesse Love is going to send Bridget Burgess around. Let's take a look at the replay. Some damage to the right front corner of Jesse Love's number 19. Here's another look from the turn one cam. Ooh, Gio Selzy doing a nice job of avoiding that action in front as well. Tough break for Bridget Burgess. That's going to put us under the caution flag for the fifth time this afternoon and erase a 2.2 second lead for Gracie Trotter. Now inside 20 laps to go, 18 laps to go to be exact this time around. We will come back to the one to go signal here at start finish. Gracie Trotter again electing to restart from the inside lane. That will move. Jesse Love to her outside. Holly Holland, Gio Selzy back in row two. Kyle Keller and Todd Souza back in row three. Takuma Koga, Bridget Burgess, and Bobby Hillis Jr. round out the nine cars that are still on the racetrack as we're going to come to the green with 16 laps to go. Again, Gracie Trotter bringing them through turns three and four very slowly into the restart zone. Green flag back in the air. Gracie Trotter on the hammer. Jesse Love with a good restart. Can he make it stick? Down into turns one and two. Trotter down to the inside. Side by side off of two. Jesse Love with a little wiggle, but he's still side by side into turns three and four. Trotter down to the inside. She's going to hold on to the lead. Now, Gio Selzy looking to the inside of Jesse Love for second. Holly Holland back into the fourth position as here you see Selzy taking over the second spot. Jesse Love back to third. There you see the battle for fourth, fifth, and sixth. Kyle Keller to the inside. He's going to move past. Holly Holland, he's going to bring Todd Souza with him. Oh, apparently some problems for Holly Holland in the number 50. Oh, tough break for Holly Holland. Meanwhile, back at the front of the field, G Gracie Trotter. Holding the lead over Gio Selzy and the caution flag going to come out again for the sixth time here this afternoon. There you see Holly Holland up next to the wall in turns three and four. Apparently, those problems a lot more seriously than we originally thought they might be. It looks like she might have gotten up in to the turn three wall. There you see the damage to the right front corner of that automobile. Tough, tough break for that driver out of Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Looking for her first career top five. There you see her making the, the right-hand turn off the racetrack there at the top of turn one. She's going to head down pit road. Take that automobile back to uh, Henry Nascimento and her crew. Henry doing a good job getting that car set up here this afternoon. Holly had a great shot at that first career top five, but apparently picking up some debris out on the racetrack softening that right front tire and putting her into the turn three wall that puts us under the caution flag for the sixth time here this afternoon. Field circulating behind the pace car. We're going to come to the 10 to go signal this time by. This is going to be a very crucial restart. Could be the final restart of the day. Holly, or excuse me, Gracie Trotter has been the master of the restart zone so far this afternoon. Can she pull it off one more time? She's going to have Gio Selzy alongside 
Jesse Love will be right back behind her in that third position. Two very aggressive drivers. Jesse Love looking for his fourth win of the season. Gio Selzy, just like Gracie, looking for career win number one. One to go signal here at the strike, 10 to go. We will have nine laps remaining. When we go back, green flag racing. Gracie Trotter, Gio Selzy up on the front row. Jesse Love, Kyle Keller back in row number two. Todd Souza looking for his first top five finish of the season. He's alongside Takuma Koga back in row three. Gracie Trotter circulating through turns three and four very, very slowly. Coming back to the restart zone. Where's she going to choose to go? She's on the hammer. Green flag back in the air. Let's see what happens down into turn one. Selzy to the outside. Can he make it stick? Gracie Trotter going to slide out to the advantage down into turns three and four. Jesse Love tried to sneak to the inside. Working their way off at of turn four. Gracie Trotter going to hold on to the lead. Selzy not wanting to give it up. He's still to the outside through turns one and two. He's going to drift up the racetrack just a touch. Gracie Trotter back to the lead. Can Jesse Love stick it back inside? Gio Selzy for second. Selzy's going to hold on to that second position. Jesse Love drifted up the racetrack. Now here comes Kyle Keller for third. Keller to the inside. Give him the third position. Jesse Love back to fourth. Six to go this time around for Gracie Trotter. Jesse Love trying to regroup back in the third position. Kyle Keller going to drift back into fourth. Field stringing out single file. Five to go this time around. Gracie Trotter with a 10 car length lead off of turn two. Gracie Trotter now opening up a 10 car length advantage over Gio Selzy back in the second position. Stretching it out, make it 20 car lengths down the back stretch. Coming to three to go this time around. Three more laps for Gracie Trotter as she looks for her first career Arkham Menards West victory. Gio Selzy, 25 car lengths now between he and the leader, Gracie Trotter, as she comes to the two to go signal this time around. It had been 29 years for a female driver going to victory lane in a national stock car touring event. Haley Deegan broke that streak two years ago at Meridian Speedway. She picked up a total of three career victories. Now, here comes Gracie Trotter looking to make history of her own as she works her way off at turn four. Checkered flag out. Gracie Trotter picks up the win at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Gio Selzy coming across the stripe in second. But how about it, folks? Gracie Trotter picking up career win number one, becoming the second female driver in the last three years to pick up a victory here in the West Series. She picked up her first win at Hickory Motor Speedway a couple of weekends ago, followed it with a dominant performance here this afternoon. Gracie Trotter parking it down in victory lane. Gio Selzy with a career afternoon today as well. He's going to come across the stripe in second. It was an up and down day for Jesse Love. He's going to come home in third. And a, just an awesome debut performance for Kyle Keller coming home in fourth. And how about at the first top 10, or excuse me, the first top five of the 2020 season for Todd Souza as well. Some great performances by those drivers up in the top five. And the exclamation point of the day, Gracie Trotter coming home with career win number one. There you see Gio Selzy.
climbing out of that automobile. He's going to go congratulate his teammate on a career first afternoon here as well. I know that's where Gio wants to be, but ever the sportsman, he's going to come down and give his teammate Gracie Trotter some congratulations on her first career victory here this afternoon. Victory Lane set up down there. Crew are already down there checking tire pressures. Want to make sure they get those setup notes. When we come back here in the spring, there's Jesse Love climbing out of that number 19 Napa Power Premium Plus Toyota. Not the afternoon he was looking for. A little disappointment on the face of that young man, but he's still going to hold on to that Arkham Menard Series West Championship lead. Hard fought afternoon for Jesse Love. Started from the pole, led some laps early, fell back into traffic, and uh, boy, really, you can just tell he is exhausted after a very difficult day at the office. But he will hold on to the Arkham Art Series West championship lead as we head to All-American Speedway again, coming up on October 23rd. Destiny Orr running the show down in Victory Lane. Looks like she's getting ready to climb out. And we will see Gracie Trotter celebrating career win number one here in the Arkham and Art Series West. And there you see an elated Gracie Trotter climbing out, showering everybody down in Victory Lane with some ice cold water. It's a very warm day here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Gracie Trotter, our winner here today in the General Tire 150. Big smile on your face. I heard you say on the radio that your car was perfect. No complaints. Yeah. Tell us how good your 99 machine was. The car was good. I mean, it wasn't tight or loose one bit. It just flowed through the corner really good. I mean, uh, Today we kind of struggled with being a little bit tight, but I don't know, Roger worked his magic today, and uh, I've never had a perfect race car before, so I can say I had a perfect race car, so I'm really happy with it. We got our first win. Now talk about the competition out there. You had lap cars, you were battling your teammates, among others, so just take us through, especially the pass when you originally got the lead. Yeah, the pass when I originally got the lead, kind of got a little bit lucky there. The two front cars were battling side by side, took it three wide, a little sketchy at first, but... Um, I uh, made a stick, didn't give up on that one, and uh, like I said, the car was perfect. It just took off for me, and they kept telling me to back it down. I'm like, I am back down. I'm like, I don't think I can go any slower, so um, I'm really happy with it. <laughs> That's got to feel good, and I mean, it's your first win, so. Yes, got to keep the win streak up. I just won uh, my first late mile soccer race at Hickory two weeks ago, so got our second one. So first ARCA win. I can't thank Bill McAnally enough, Toyota Racing Development, Jack Irving, eh, all those guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm at a loss for words right now. So um, first year in ARCA, out west, far from home. So um, it just really means a lot to me. Congratulations. Thank you back individuals I think I've met in a long time here in racing before Did she had that core instinct she was all over those guys on that restart stuck it three wide took the lead and did not give it up the rest of the way and she is down celebrating career win number one congratulations to her Roger Bracken and the entire team
on an impressive, impressive performance, picking up the win here in the General Tire 150. Saw Gio Selzy sneak in there and give her a nice cold bath. I bet you that feels good on a very yeah, warm day. Let's see what Gio has to, to say second. after finishing Tell us second. Tell a little bit about the battles making your way to the front. Also that you guys got a BMR 1, 2, 3 today. Yeah, I mean, it's awesome for Gracie to get her first win. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, just I knew brakes were going to be a problem today and, and pushed a bit too hard early. And I think that lap 50 caution, I, I had no brakes. And um, at that point, I was just worried about losing them again and just didn't uh, – didn't ride at the right times and didn't didn't push at the right times. So I think, um, especially when it's hot like that, guys are blowing tires, and um, it was definitely um, a race to save your stuff. And just didn't didn't do it right. She did a great job. She stuck by all of us, um, and, and had the best race car for sure. Looking forward to the next three races. What are you most looking forward to? Yeah, I think he's getting back in a rhythm. I've been in a sprint car for the last two months, um, and it takes a bit to get going on this thing again. So I'm um, get to go race National Open in Port Royal. So I'm looking forward to that. But uh, yeah, got a double header, which is which is always good to get back in the car back to back. So I think um, Roseville, Kern, and Phoenix will be good shows. Congrats on another top five. Yeah, thank you guys. Thank you. Uh, it's awesome. Like you said, BMR, you get a one, two, three. I think that's our first this year. Um, so I know Holly had a good run going. Not sure what happened to her, but yeah, just really happy. Napa, um, everyone helps us out. Toyota, it's cool to, uh, to to have all our uh, hard work pay off. Thank you. Thank you, guys. What a great run by Gio Selzy up at the front of the field all afternoon long able to uh, follow his teammate Gracie Trotter home in that second position. I know as competitive as he is, not happy with second, but uh, has to be pretty happy to see Gracie down there celebrating her first career victory. Hopefully, Gio will be the guy doing that next time we go racing again. All-American Speedway coming up on October 23rd. Let's see if we can go down and get a quick word with our current championship leader, Jesse Love, who came home third here this afternoon. All right, Jesse, third place for you, BMR 123 today, but you look a little frustrated. Tell us about your run. No, I mean, first off, you know, congratulations to the team. You know, 123 is a pretty big deal. I'm not sure the when the last time that happened uh, for the West Series. So um, super cool for Bill, and uh, he's done a great job, you know, managing the team and getting everybody faster. And, um, you know, he got beat today. So uh, win together, lose together. So we'll get better, and we'll come back next time better. You had some issues during qualifying. Were you battling anything mechanically during the race? Yeah, we saw. I think we're having probably a motor go away or something. Um, we thought it was a carburetor in practice. We changed carburetor out and it actually helped it uh, for the rest of practice slash qualifying. But um, it just started smelling weird and wasn't like coming off the corner how it should have. And we're getting beat by some lap cars on the straightaway. So, um, but you know, it doesn't change the doesn't change the finish. So, so um, well, let's get better. Thanks, Jesse. Yep. Well, he's going to have a chance to get better coming up again October 23rd at All-American Speedway. We will have a double header that weekend. That race Friday night. We will also race Sunday night at Kern County Raceway. So Jesse Love got a couple of races coming up in a few weeks to go for more victories. There we see Joey East looking to the inside of Blaine Perkins. There's Trevor Huddleston battling for the lead with Jesse Love. Huddleston had a good day going until he got into the outside wall. There you see teammate Blaine Perkins having the same fate into the wall in turn two, ending his shot for victory here this afternoon. There you see East again looking to the inside of Jesse Love. He was up front all afternoon until problems on a restart. That allowed Gracie Trotter to sail off to victory. Her first career Arkham and Art Series West win. Celebrating down in victory lane with a cool shower for those down in victory lane. Thanks so much for joining us here on Track Pass with NBC Sports Gold. My name is Charlie Crawl. We look forward to talking to you next time from Five Flag Speedway with Arkham Art Series East on October the 10th. Until then, so long, everybody.